get on with the meeting. Is everybody ready? Ready. Yep. Yep. All right. So we, uh, so we uh, established the quorum. Uh, I don't have a chairman's report, but I can um, ad hoc committee reports. Um, we want to talk uh, about the uh, ad hoc for financing. Uh, there has been some um, progress made, and I think Tom, you've got some uh, information. A uh, little, a little bit of an update, yeah, on the. And I don't know if you have any yourself, but uh, as you remember, I was working with uh, Melissa uh, to um, investigate the possibility of getting a 1% loan through the uh, California Energy Commission's uh, program for energy efficient projects. And we had, uh, I've talked to Deborah Godfrey, who's in charge of that program. And uh, I believe, uh, to a John Alchin today, this morning, John Alchin and uh, and Megan Gersony, uh, the new um, utilities at MinTech, also talked to her. And the feedback that together we've gotten is that the, uh, the process is actually fairly simple to apply. However, the projects themselves have to be defined rather precisely in terms of what, the, what you're replacing and what its energy profile is, and what you're what you're replacing it with, rather specific information about what the, you know, the specs, the the, the um, you know the, the energy profile, energy savings, and that has to be spelled out in quite a bit of detail. And I guess one problem that has come up is that the, the PG&E work, the PG&E um, initial work that we do, that was done last year that defined this. The SST projects and, and gave cost estimates and energy saving estimate uh, is not as is, is not totally up to date considering what we're where we are now, and it seems that from what and this is what Melissa tells me, from what the uh, you know what we would have to do is redo you know go over quite a bit of stuff in detail to come up with specific like cut sheets on these projects. Uh, and there, there are possibilities. The, the, there are um, only a number, only a small number of possibilities among the projects too, because you have to have a fairly large energy savings payout, payoff, right. to right. make the um, the loan worthwhile. And there was a blower, there were blower replacements that I noticed that originally were priced at about a million three, and now they're down to about half that. They were a good candidate. Uh, there was a couple of small things that were also had a high energy payout. But, the, but we're, what, we're, what we're able to finance seems to be dwindling down to maybe three projects. It sounds like now maybe under a million. I'm just off the top of my head. And the process of, uh, process of getting those, doing the estimates uh, for the application looks like a lot of staff time involved and a lot of work. The informal recommendation um, from from Ray now, I guess you're being, Ray, you're being quoted here in Melissa's email. You want to see how the private lending rates go before we go much further with this. I'm going to maybe turn it over to Ray because I think you know about this a little bit too. Yeah, yeah so, Ray? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 can, I can fill in some of the, the blanks. So, yeah. um, so it, so Tom, Tom was correct, you know, along the lines of, there, there was um, the payout needed to be over a period of 20 years. So mm -hmm. that, that was kind of like the premise of the whole uh, energy commission project. And clearly right now the blowers are gonna be paid off like less than eight years. So that, that clearly makes the mark. The other one that's gonna be pretty clear is a, a fairly new project. So um, like, the, like the B1 reading replaced the gravity. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I think we, when we did a quick calculation on that, we were the payout was still going to be about. Um, we we assumed a five hundred thousand dollar cost, which might change, but if we assumed that, it was going to be um, uh, like a twenty five year um, pay payback. So, but what what John and I were, were talking, we were actually talking about this this morning, is that we can probably combine a few projects, and. Right now, the, the assumption is uh, if, 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 if on average on all of those projects, 
averages averages out to 20 years, maybe we can we can work it that way. Um, yeah. So yeah, and, and so basically the so the premise is is that if we get exact pricing, you know, which we should be getting here in in, in a few weeks, uh, we would be able to to pursue the project. What Melissa was saying about the the, the private party financing is if the, right now the rates for the private party financing might be almost the same as this energy commission um, mm -hmm. rates would be. So um, we still think, you know, I mean, you know, if, if that's the case, then, you know, the, the timing at, at this point, the timing really wouldn't matter. And if we have to put in so much legwork, why, why put all the effort when it's sure. going to be yeah. the same, so it's just still going to be the same percentage as the private party financing, but we're still, but we're still working the angle. We think that we we can at least fund a couple of projects because it's really only a maximum of three and a half million dollars. Mm -hmm. So um, if we can, you know, be close to funding a couple of those projects with that, then you know, over a twenty-year mm -hmm. period, I think, I think it would how be. Much, how much? I have a question for Ray. How much do you think in total? Uh, in terms of product cost, do you think you could finance this way? Because I, I was hearing the figure like 1.5 million. Yeah, it, it's around it's around that neighborhood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So that's why you know, like, into, that, that's why if, uh, we, could be, if we can finance that through the private party, then there, there would be no reason to to do yeah. that. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a good tactic. I think I think we wait and see how we, how the financing comes through. If it's Great financing, and and we and, and we can do the whole bundle at at, at, at a low rate. Why we don't need to go through the hassle of, of making that application and stuff. That's fine. Mm -hmm. um, we're we're um, working with iBank, um, and they only had they had a question for Melissa over the weekend. Ray, did you get is Melissa around these days? Yeah, no, she, she is. Yeah. Okay, well, she's probably researching the answer to that question, but I, I think I already know it. But I think she's going to research it and get back to them, and then, uh, and then they're all set. They'll be able to come back to us and tell us whether we have a fundable project and give us a quote on the interest rate. Yeah. So we should have that at the same time as we get the quote from the private funding, and we can decide which which direction to go. Yeah. I think uh, the USDA one, just to let everybody know, uh, that uh, is going to take over a year to go through that process. And, and uh, so we've kind of put that one on the back burner for now. And the same with the uh, State Water Control Board uh, project. Uh, that's going to be, they want to do water projects. So we're looking at maybe talking to them about doing the Stewart Street tank and maybe uh, helping us out funding uh, some of the so, that would help. so that's basically the report from the funding committee we are uh, I think uh, Ray uh, PG and e was going to send that out or Southland was going to send that out this week right? The, the fund, yeah, I think yeah, sometime this week, yeah. Yeah, the RFP was going out this week. So we're gonna wait like two weeks and get back uh, the results from that. So sometime before hopefully Thanksgiving, we will have answers back on what kind of funding we can expect from the private mm -hmm. sector anyway. Mm -hmm. so that's yeah. good, that's mm -hmm. good. Okay, any, any other ad hoc reports? Um, Paul, how's how's the uh, how's the uh, uh, the inventory? Yeah, yeah. Um, I right now I think Ray um, has tentatively scheduled with us to go over some things on December first to get that picked off, and uh, and that's kind of where where we're at right now. We're just kind of I guess lining things up to get started. Okay, okay. Terrific, terrific. Mm -hmm. That's the first time Bray can take a breath, I assume. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm sure that he's, he's quite busy with other things at this point. Good. Good. Anybody else? Ad hoc committee reports? All right. 
So we now go to uh, public comment. Is there anybody in the public that would like to comment on anything not on the agenda today? Yes, we have somebody. Uh, Crosby? Yes, uh, good afternoon. I, I just have a suggestion. This would be for a future agenda item. I think it would be very helpful for this committee and for the board too, if we could get uh, the district's consulting hydrogeologist, uh, Gus Yates, to uh, appear before the committee, and just give an update on what he's working on and if he's done any runs or come to any conclusions and stuff like that. It's key. It's key to understand this for the urban water management plan update and, and for the uh, permit application too. Uh, I don't know if that, it seems like it would be best to, to have him come to this committee, but I suppose he could come to, the, to one of the CCSD board meetings as well. But either way, I think that's something you should try to set up. So that's my suggestion. Okay, very good. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I really got it is, uh, had to, to bring uh, those people in at some point, but I'm not sure they're ready to do that yet. Ray, is that something first quarter of next year? Yeah, um, no, Gus is willing to to do a presentation before the board and I, I think uh, early next year would be appropriate for that. Okay. All right, I'll bring that to the full board uh, on the 19th and see if they can't put that in their schedule for next year. Um, no other, no other public comment. Okay. So we'll move on to regular business. Uh, the CIP list is next. A uh, uh, consent agenda. Oh, consent agenda. I'm sorry. Thank you, Tom. So do I have a motion to approve the consent agenda, which is basically the minutes? I'll move. All right. And a second. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All right. <clears throat> Passes three to zero. Very good. Oh, oh, no, three to zero. Okay, right. That's right. Yeah. All right, regular business. Uh, discussion and consideration uh, regarding the new capital improvement pro project plan and uh, whether we want to forward it as it is to the finance committee for their review. Um, anybody got any questions or comments on the CIP? I, I like the way they redid it and have, have given us a better idea as to what all the funding is. Um, any questions at this point? Well, yes, Tom. Oh yeah, just a uh, question or two here. Uh, on the um, skate park improvements, there's no price given. Was is there? Is that un, uh, unfunded uh, 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 in terms of studying it or anything like that? Or is that uh, is this re 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 refer to actual improvements? Yeah, we're, we're talking unfunded. about actually building the thing. Okay, so it's not not so plenary studying. That's right. The only number that I know of that was thrown out there was three hundred thousand dollars. But That's, yeah, you know we've, we've got to see at some point. I think. The board authorized the general manager to go ahead and get the survey done of the existing skate park so that we've got that done and mm -hmm. then put that out with the RFP. That's what I was thinking of as, as, a, as an expenditure. That's not included here. Uh, the other thing that uh, I was. So, a, oh, excuse me, Pam. Yeah, Pam. So the current fiscal year budget just includes maintenance for the skate park. So I think the direction that the board gave was for John to explore, um, you know, permitting options with that. But I we haven't moved it to SBIP at this point. That would take a budget adjustment to move the money for maintenance to capital. So we haven't done that yet because we really aren't sure of the costs associated with such action. So once that happens, we will populate this worksheet and show a, a CIP project cost, even if it's preliminary numbers to just fund design or something like that. We will populate that as we have that information. But right now we don't. 
Okay, but I uh, but I think the board did approve doing the survey, didn't we? Yes, they did, but uh, we would still need to go back and do a formal budget adjustment if we want to move money from that maintenance in pros to a capital project. That requires board action to move it from services and supplies to capital outlay. And we have not done that because that wasn't part of the board. Um, it would have to be done via resolution and we have not done that at this point. Well, okay. I think, I think that was the board's direction to get that done. So maybe we ought to review that. Board hey, I guess you have to, I guess there's some ambiguity then about that, the cost estimate there as to what, what's going to be, is it like a, is the survey going to be included here in capital or is it going to be included in maintenance or what? Well, it depends if we ultimately create a project out of it. If we, you know, just do a little survey for a few thousand dollars and we decide to go another avenue and we don't spend more than $5,000 to complete whatever we're doing, it would not be a capital outlay item. So okay. it's kind of uncertain at this point and what we would put from maintenance to capital you know, it's really unclear at that point, you know, what, what we would do. So mm -hmm. I think it will happen or it needs to happen, but I don't think we have enough information at this point to make a recommendation. At least I don't. Maybe um, John don't has some other information from what he's been, research he's been doing with Carlos, but I'm, I'm not aware of what that dollar amount is at this point. Okay. okay. And there was one other item that, uh, I wanted to um, see, make a suggestion on on the on the fire department projects, the uh, second line fuel station computer replacement. Uh, there's a note there that 50% costs will be paid by CCHD, and it's my understanding that CCHD is diversifying their their fuel procurement practices. And I don't think there's any I would I don't think there's any expectation at this point that they'll be necessarily going in 50-50 on the projects. I would I would prefer eliminating that note. So um, the community health care district has a joint powers agreement mm -hmm. with CCSD and any maintenance or upgrade to the fuel station per agreement, they have to pay 50%. Mm -hmm. So until they void that agreement, if we were to update the fueling system tomorrow, we would be sending them a bill for half the cost of that. Mm -hmm. And I'm currently billing them on a quarterly basis for fuel usage. So they are that's, utilizing that's, our tank. I know that's the current arrangement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so at this so, point. I mean, yeah, at this point, yeah. I guess at this point, given what there is now, I guess you have to, that stands at this point. Yeah. So right. just so, you know, down the road, it might be different. Yeah, there was some talk, oh gosh, probably I don't know, a year ago maybe by now, um, of the school, the healthcare district, all fueling and creating a joint powers agreement with all three agencies mm -hmm. and to fuel, but the logistics of that and the size of our fuel tanks, I know was in question. So I'm not really sure, uh, you know, whatever happened with that whole situation. I know John has worked on it for um, quite some time. Mm -hmm. to get that in place but i it never um came to fruition as far as i know i don't know where where it stands today okay okay thank you so we'll leave it for now tom but uh, if they're going to do something different they they need to let us know mm -hmm. um so Ray, the only thing, other thing I've got is, is those numbers that are in there currently um, for the wastewater treatment plant SST are not, um, you know, solid numbers at this point, but we're expecting those in two weeks. So the, so the current update for, um, for the, for the, the 30% design and getting the firm fixed cost 
is going to be at the end of November. So um, I, I was going to mention that in the IGA update, but um, so until we get those, these are the numbers that's current, that the most current numbers we have for the, the SST projects. But, um, right. Right. but we will, yeah, like currently they're, they're going to do their internal review at like around November 20th, and then it should be released to us um, like the, you know, the week after Thanksgiving. Or something like that. Okay, so are, is, are the electrical upgrades ECM7 and the backup power ECM8, are those firm numbers now? No, what's, what's on here are not firm numbers yet. And, and, um, and actually, so I'm also going to mention on the, the IDA update was the, um, we are, we, that RFP is out at the moment. So meaning that it's on the streets, we actually did the, um, the job walk uh, in the middle of last month, you know, where the, the contractors who are bidding on the projects uh, came to the site and looked at it in more detail. And those prices are going to, those prices will come before the end of the, um, the end of November. Um, uh, and so will the SCADA systems. We'll, that, uh, also, we'll also get those prices. Um, Actually, we'll probably get the probably in the first week of December. They that's also out in the streets as well. Okay. But not, but but as far as no, we don't have the prices for those yet. But of all the prices that are going to come back, that's going to be the first ones that's going to come back. Okay. So. I'm wondering whether this is something that we want to send to finance or should we really wait until we get those better numbers and send it to them in December? Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't see why, I don't see why a couple of weeks, I mean, we're, we're only talking about a difference of weeks here and, um, yeah, I, I think that would be appropriate. We, we, we can probably get all of those, in one fell swoop in December, like in the first week of December, so. Yeah, if we had all that, I think that would make more sense sending it on the finance. And then they'd also have at the same time, the financing options in front of them. And, and they could then, you know, make a good decision as to uh, what they want to do about financing. And they'd have good solid numbers on what the cost would, is going to be. That seems to make more sense to me. Anybody else? Makes more sense to me too to wait. Yeah. And and just to clarify, the order that these are in is the order, the workflow order that you guys would want to put these in, Ray, or is this or would that no, no, it, no, it's it's not gonna it doesn't follow the it doesn't follow the work order that's listed on there. Like okay. yeah, like you know. Like for example, so the, the only thing that's going to be the first priority is the, the electrical upgrades. And so, but that's, you know, ECM seven and ECM eight, you know, that's, you know, line 14 and line, you know, line five. So, yeah. but, but the other projects are, those are all in the wastewater treatment plan. And we hope to get those in one bundle, one project bundle. So. Not to, I, I guess the reason why I ask is I, it, from my mind, and I don't know who is using this piece of paper, but that's the way I would look at it is I would want to see, you know, kind of chronologically what we're going to actually have to spend money on in order so that we can kind of see at map out, you know, what projects go where and if we have the budget for it, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, I, I, I can, I, I, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, they they need to be either that way or by priority, uh, um, so that if finance says, "Well, we can only afford eight hundred thousand," um, then then they would be e able to look at the list and say, "Okay, these are the two projects we're going to have to put on hold or whatever." So that might make some sense too. Yes. Okay. All right, so is everybody okay with us tabling this until uh, 
Uh, the next meeting in December. It's good with me. Okay. All right. We have a consent. <clears throat> yep. All right. Um, moving on to the next item on the agenda, then. Um, that is um, uh, whether we want to appoint an ad hoc committee for the urban water management plan update uh, so that they can uh, be getting more updates from uh, the consultant and from Ray and reporting back to us as to what the progress is and that kind of thing. Uh, do we want to do that now or do we want to wait until um, the new uh, committee is formed in January. That makes sense. <clears throat> My suggestion is to wait. Yeah. Because I think we should the wait. Committee will change. <clears throat> the there are, there are so. people on this committee now that aren't going to be on this committee. Right. Yet. Really, so. At least right. so we're going we're to table that one too, I think, yeah. mm -hmm. and wait. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So Ray, you're on. You want to give us an update now on the uh, IGA? Yeah. So there was um, there was a lot of activity relating to to this project. Where um, let me just kind of go down the the major things that were that happened. So, like I mentioned a few minutes ago, we had the the job walk. Um, and, and what I mean job walk, I mean like when the the bidders come in and actually inspect the the sites that they're bidding on so that, you know, they can ask questions and, and we can show them exactly where things are supposed to go and they can see the lay of the land and where the trench, the trenching should be and all of that. And they're, and they're able to ask uh, questions about process um, and, and priority of work, meaning like, you know, the cutover from the backup generator to the power, et cetera. So all of that happened um, October 14th, we, we met with um, the bidders, the, the electrical bidders for the project, and uh, we had a, we had a, it was a really good meeting. They um, they asked their questions. They were able to take notes, and so you know we should be able to get that that um, those bids pretty soon because that, that happened in uh, in October 14th. So I think they had like two three weeks to to do it. Um, the other thing too, relating to the ECM seven and eight, you know, that's that's what I was talking about. Um, where uh, this Thursday, our uh, PG&E rep that's actually handling the application is going to be doing um, uh, her site visit and um, just to go over the final details of of where the transformer pad, you know, right now, right now we have we have it on on the design where the transformer pad would go. But the question is, uh, can we reuse that that existing transformer pad? So, so she's going to come on uh, this Thursday, and we're going to look at all of those things, and you know, verify the the conduit locations, and 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 of course, we already know that we're we're going to need to update or upgrade uh, in size the, the conduits. So, so that's all happening. You know, the ball is rolling on that. Uh, the fact that you know we have. Um, the fact that you know we're, we're we're doing that like even before the end of the year, I'm like I'm personally stoked about that. <laughs> so um, because you know the original estimate was going to be like middle of next year, so I'm I'm really happy about that. Um, so uh, continuing on, there, there there were there were really no major issues as far as the other ECMs are are, are going, but I do want to make mention that we um, there were some changes which I already made mention like the like the, the lift station B, B1 is going to be converted into a, uh, a gravity uh, project. Uh, and because of that, there's gonna be some kind of, um, we're, we're packaging the lift stations uh, with that. Um, we're separating out the, the gravity version of, of B1 so that it doesn't hold back the other lift stations from the, the bid projects. Um, so, so that's really the, the, the major changes as far as the other ECMs are going to go. The SCADA, the SCADA upgrades, uh, we had a job walk um, uh, at the end of last month, October 29th, where the, the bidders for the project, uh, we, did a, we did a pretty good, de a pretty detailed job walk because all we, we went through all the control points 
for the wastewater treatment plant. And, um, you know, we had to go through all the details, go through all the processes, actually point out where, where everything was going to be and where we intended the, the controls were going to go. So we, that was a good, a good meeting. Um, they did ask for a little bit more time uh, as a group as far as getting the, the bids to us because uh, th there were a lot of questions that that they had and um, and you know in order to to, to get a more exact price, um, they, uh, having time was 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 a good thing. So we we extended them some time. So it'll be extended till the um, till after Thanksgiving, like short the week after Thanksgiving, which which is fair since I I doubt we would uh, review it you know during Thanksgiving week anyway. But um, so anyway, that 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 was a a, a reasonable thing. Um, yeah, but you now ruined the holiday for that estimator, whoever. Well, you know, so. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we, 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 we can't review stuff on a full stomach. So anyway, uh, but uh, anyway, the, so we already went over the, the, the project funding. I think we, we, we talked about that. That's all going in progress. Um, another important thing before the final design um, was going to be submitted, we went through um, a, a job walk, a final job walk with the design engineer from MKN uh, came to visit our plant um, last Friday. No, when was it last Friday? It was the 23rd. And, you know, we went over the, the final details because there was still some, there was a little bit of unclear, you know, clarity that needed to be ironed out from the design that, that we had, the design package that we had to to what we see out here on the field. So we had a really good um, conversation with that where uh, we, we expressed all of our, all of our issues with, uh, with the design engineer. And so, so there's gonna be no guessing when, when, when they finally submit the final bid package to us, which is, and, and like I was saying, um, they plan to complete that internally um, November 20th, right around that week and then and then submit the final package to us, uh, possibly at you know after Thanksgiving. So, um, so yeah, everything is uh, going going. I think as planned and appropriate. I think you know it was to be expected that we were going to encounter some some design assumption changes. You know, like you know, and good things. You know, like. Uh, like for example, like lift station B1 was a design change that was for the good. Um, there's some other things too that, you know, um, that, you know, some other questions were, were asked where, you know, do we need to specify this kind of equipment over the other? And uh, we were able to iron all of those, uh, all those issues out. So, um, so yeah, I, I, I think everything is, is going as, as planned. And I'm, uh, you know, so by the end of November, we should get that those firm fixed prices and you know be able to have good projects moving forward. Good, good. Glad to hear that. Um, I noticed that we're now doing a natural gas generator with a propane backup. Was was that a decision made due to APCD or or other areas? I no, I I don't think that we were we were doing that. We're not doing natural gas generators. Oh, okay. Throw that somewhere. Where did I see that? <laughs> All right. I, so no, no. I, I think it was talked about because it was gonna. It was going to. Th there was a reason not to do that because it was going to. If, if there was an SST issue. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm not, not an SST. Uh, a power safety shutdown issue that it was going that going natural gas was going to affect that. But okay, we're, we're not doing we're not doing natural gas for any other backup generators. Okay, all right. Welcome, Jim. I'm mute. Yeah. I'm sorry to be late. <laughs> That's okay. Did I get assigned anything? <laughs> <laughs> everything what else you know but the way you used to be in the cambria fishing club if you were late for a meeting you got to be the president yeah there you go there you go well you may be vice chairman next year so yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that was a serious shake of the head, no. <laughs> no, I, just, I don't even know what it means, David. <laughs> All right. Um, anyone else have any questions on uh, um, the IGA progress? All right. Um, future agenda items. Um, first, uh, I know, Ray, you're planning on having a um, update for us on the urban water management plan uh, in January. Does that still hold? Yeah, that, that's still, yeah, that, that, that's still appropriate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, anyone else have anything else that they want to put on the future agenda other than those things that we tabled today? Uh, Jim, you didn't miss anything because because we tabled both items A and B for okay. uh, review yep. next week again. All right. So you can handle them next time. Thanks. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Any anybody else got anything for future agenda items? No. I wanted to congratulate Ray on becoming the uh, vice chair of the prestigious uh, San Luis Obispo County Water Resources Advisory Committee. Nice. <laughs> well, it's actually he was. I mean, Ray was secretary of the committee when he was with the county, so he's kind of back home again. Ah. Cool. Okay. Good for you, Ray. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Comes with a crown. Hmm? No. <laughs> That's all I have. I would personally like to thank all of you guys for for and girls for doing a great job on this committee and thank you, and thank you, uh, really some important work was done uh, in the last year um, doing work on the ad hocs and and getting any work done with. Uh, the COVID restrictions and stuff that we have, I think is remarkable, but you guys and, and girls have all done a great job of, 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 of participating and helping out. And, and there's a lot of things that um, uh, we leave unresolved, but I think we've done an excellent job over the year to, uh, to get stuff done. Um, I think you all need to consider uh, whether you want to re-up for next for another two years, uh, that will be the subject of uh, the meeting, probably the first meeting in January for the new uh, board. So uh, and making assignments and stuff. So if you if you do want to uh, participate on the committee again uh, next year and the year after for another two year term, um, please. Let the vice chair Karen Dean know so that uh, she's prepared to uh, let everybody know on the board exactly what your feelings are. Uh, if you don't want to participate, you know I I, I I don't blame you. You've done two years of, of really good work and uh, we appreciate it. Uh, so if you want to take a break for a while, um, that's that's fine too. So. Again, I, want, I would like to personally thank each and every one of you for doing an outstanding job on this committee and, and helping us out. So. I'd like to thank you, Dave, for being a, such an effective chairman and uh, effective and business-like chairman of this committee for the last year. I think we've, our productivity is in large part due to your leadership. Yeah. Thank you. Thank and we, you. Hope you can, we hope you can stay involved and you're, you're gonna get drafted for something, I'm sure. <laughs> And vice right. chair of this committee. Possibly. Yeah, possibly. Why not? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's move along from that one. <laughs> All right. Okay. Anybody else have anything before we adjourn? All right. Seeing nothing. Once again, thank you, everybody, for uh, showing up today. And, and uh, uh, thank you, Brad, for calling in and giving us a quorum and everything. So, uh, no worries. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye, all. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.